And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored, a lawsuit involving two celebrities thrown out, but not before the damage has already been done. A couple of weeks ago, Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears were accused of child abuse after an old video resurfaced. The clip is of a disturbing skit that tries to make light of pedophilia. The lawsuit was dismissed this week, but Tiffany is still in deep water. Nobody wants to hire her according to TMZ and what she told reporters. Take a look. Backstage OL's Dave Morales is here with us. Dave, this is a crazy story. We know now the lawsuit has been dismissed against Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears, but it's our understanding that Haddish in some form or fashion settled this lawsuit and she told TMZ recently she has lost all of her gigs, all of her jobs as a result of this video. And, and, I, and I'll tell you, Dave, I saw the video. It's creepy as hell. Yeah. It's weird. It's out there. I don't never I, I can't imagine how they thought it would be funny, you know, having a little kid in his underwear and Aerie Spears looking at the kid suggestively. It's just weird. But what do we know about Tiffany and, and the long term impact on a career as a result of this video? I, I am glad we're doing this as a follow up because you and I spoke about this when it first dropped and the announcement was made about the lawsuit. So I'm glad we're following up with it now that it has been settled. And it was settled rather quickly. So I do know what you're speaking of. Uh, she was at LAX the other day and photographers, you know, rushed up on her because it had just been dismissed, a lawsuit, and asked her about it. And, and she was emotional. And she said, yeah, she's lost jobs. She currently, right now, does not have any work. You know, she's oh. going to be okay. <laughs> Tiffany's extremely talented. She's had massive, you know, uh, movies and films and TV projects in the past. She will work again. But it's going to be, we're, we're a forgiving society here in the U.S., but it's going to take some time. And you're right, Isaiah, the more people that see that video, because it's, you know, it's online, uh, it's that, that being judged, you know, socially in the community like that, that's going to be a hard thing to forget. The other casualty of this is her friendship with Aries Spears. Um, she was asked about that same interview, and she said, I don't want to speak on him. Uh, she's distanced herself from him, which is a shame. They've known each other for a long time. It was stupid. At the end of the day, it was a stupid thing that they did. Everybody will agree on that. But now Tiffany is is suffering. Even though the lawsuit was dropped, she's going to suffer because it's going to be a while, Isaiah, until she comes back, uh, you know, doing something uh, before she's cast. Will she get cast again? Absolutely. She's a box office draw. She does real well. She sells movie tickets. But it's 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 going to be a break time, I think, for Tiffany Haddish, which is a shame because I love talking with her. She, she's a wonderful person. And I told you as well at the beginning of all of this, I was shocked this even happened. But then we saw the video and she admitted it. It was stupid. Now, have we heard anything from Aries Spears? Has he made any public comments? Because he's the one who really looks bad in this video. He's silent. I would imagine he's in the same situation. And if he were somebody were to interview me, he would probably say, I've lost work too. People, you know, he does comedy tours. He plays here in Houston all the time. I would imagine that uh, that's been dropped. But again, we are a forgiving society and we'll see. I, I, I think they should probably take some time anyway because of what, what, what did happen and transpire. But I don't think we should put them in a, in a corner for the rest of their lives. Uh, I think a break would suffice. And hopefully Tiffany can take some time for herself, Aries as well, and you know, think on, on how really dumb this was and then come back and with something massive. And I know Tiffany Haddish can do it. Aries is a funny guy. I, I, you know, we'll see. And, you know, Dave, I'm saying that this was just poor judgment. And yeah. we knew, we all knew there was nothing nefarious about the video. It was just the optics. It just looked bad. And we have two extremely successful comedians here who've been around for quite some time. Aries Spears, more than more so than Tiffany Haddish, both are very smart, but I just I couldn't wrap my brain around what they were trying to achieve with this particular video. Everybody's trying to get clicks, Isaiah. That's the world we live in right now. I talked to an actor this morning that was saying, I hate social media because of the pressure that exists. Um well, you, Dave, know, you and I know as 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 a journalist, you know, we're all ranked about how we do, how well we do on social media, but you right. have to know the, your limitations, the you limits so you don't cross that line. You really have to. And it was a dumb, dumb thing that they did. Trust me, I, I know Tiffany real well. She's She knows that. 
Uh, it was dumb and, and hopefully she can get past it. But I wouldn't expect we're going to hear uh, from either of them with probably for some time, which and is a of shame. Of course, um, uh, Tiffany, according to her, has settled her portion of the lawsuit. But we don't know how much that is, right? Typically, settlements are private and, you know, not disclosed. Yeah. And I would imagine that friendship, they, it was uh, the, uh, the, the mother who filed this has known Tiffany for quite some time. I would imagine that relationship now is strained as well. And I would be, I'd be shocked if they're still talking as well. So look what happened. Uh, public judgment, uh, you know, their careers and now personal relationships are ruined because of one stupid move. And it was stupid. Let's be clear on that. All right, Dave Morales, Backstage Oil. Always good to see you here on The Factor, Sarah. You too, man.